organized. Students may organize notebooks in class. Teachers may organize their rooms, cabinets, and files. You may enlist the help of students. Whether permitting, some may choose to take groups outside to pick up trash. In the study hall, everyone will be colorized. New students and sixth graders will have booklets and word lists. Last year's students will have copied handouts of cards and word lists. Tuesday, December 15th is Orange Day. Everyone wear orange. The true colors play will be today. Sixth graders will be first period. Seventh graders will be second period. And eighth graders will be sixth period. Wednesday, December 16th, is Blue Day. Everyone wear blue. Students and teachers will bring in non-perishable food items to fill up containers in the front lobby in the morning. This will be delivered to Portland Cares. Thursday, December 17th, is Green Day. Everyone needs to wear green. A poll will be taken first period of students' colors. These results will be tabulated during the day by green students. And Friday, December 18th, is a surprise. Also, there will be a ball game today and it's against Hunter. It's there. It's at 6.30. And now to Valerie. And I'm Amy and Allison, our True Colors experts, to tell you all about True Colors. Hello, everyone. I'm Amy Scher. And I'm Allison Brown. And we're here to tell you a little about, about True Colors. Your first question is, what are True Colors? Look around you, and it seems that others are different from you. They may act different and they may look differently. This is what makes our world so interesting. However, there are also many similarities between you and other people. You just have to take the time to find and discover these differences and the similarities. The game you're going to play today is about our individual differences, our true colors. You're about to discover your personal true colors and the true colors of your classmates and your teachers. When you make this discovery, you learn that the more you know about yourself and other people, the easier it is to understand and like them, and the easier it is for them to understand and like you. And now for some of the things about gold. They're very responsible. They like to do everything right and have everything organized. That's because they will know that they get rewarded for it. Sometimes it was with money, which they like to save. At school, they like teachers who can stay at one subject at a time. This way, they can know how to do their lessons right. They like to follow the rules, too. At home, everyone has their chores, and they like to do their part. They like to enjoy doing extra things for the family where they can learn more allowances. How about Adventurous Orange? They like to be free as a bird. They like fun and exciting things to do. They like games and contests and go all out to win. They enjoy doing things with friends, especially when they don't have to plan ahead. At school, they enjoy entertaining their classmates. They like sports and classes where they can use their hands. They like to concentrate on things that interest them. And at home, they think it's fun when there are not many rules to follow. And now here's some from Blue. They're very compassionate. They like when everything is nice and easy going. They try to get along with all of their friends and even some of the people who don't like them. At school, they like the teachers who think they care about themselves, and they like to read, and their favorite stories are about people, animals, and nature. They like stories with happy endings. At home, they really appreciate things that a family does for them, and they try to get along with everyone. How about green? They like to know about all sorts of subjects. They ask questions and enjoy learning different ways to do things. At school, they get really bored if the teacher or the subject does not interest them, and most of their friends at school like them. And at home, they like to spend time alone in their room. They spend hours on their computer games, and they follow the rules as long as they make sense. And that's all for this time. Now back to our anchors. And now for December Christmas birthdays. Big because he eats too many cookies. So just try and refrain yourself, okay? And now back to the anchor desk. Now let's go see some interviews that have to do with Christmas with our teachers and you. Hello everyone, I'm Heather Steele reporting for TCN News with Shane Brown. And Shane, what do you want for Christmas? BB gun. You want a BB gun? Uh, is there anything else you want? I want a cold call. Oh, okay. Um, and what do you want? A leather jacket. You want a leather jacket? You think your parents are going to get it for you? Yes. Okay. And what do you want? Um, I want a jacket too. Do you ever sneak into your presents at Christmas time? Yes. 
Have you snuck into them yet? Do you ever sneak into your present? No. You don't? Never. You have never done that. What do you want for Christmas? Shotgun. Do you think you have it? Probably. And I'm Heather Still reporting for TCN News. Hello everyone, I'm Justin Spiller reporting for TCN News and we're asking people what they want for Christmas. It is Chris but What do you want? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> do you ever go sneak around for your presents? Yeah. Usually I find out what they are too. Okay. Come over here. What do you want for Christmas? Snow. <laughs> do you ever go sniff it around for your presents? No. You don't? No. Never? Well, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> and what do you want for Christmas? A million dollars. Do you think you'll get it? No. <laughs> okay. Now it's going to go to Miss Wilson. Now, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I'll take a new gold necklace. Okay. Do you think you'll get it? <laughs> yep, because I'm going to get to buy it. <laughs> okay. This has been Justin's film reporting for teaching News Miss Wilson's class. And now for the thought for the holidays. thought for the holidays for this time is, May your Christmas be spent in the merriest way, and may happiness be with you day after day. Happy holidays. Let's go see Amy and Allison with their special Christmas story. And now here's Allison and I with a little concept of St. Nick. Our St. Nicholas was pictured to be a tall, slim man up until the 1800s. Santa Claus! Yep, Santa Claus. He wore robes and rode on a white horse instead of a sleigh and his reindeer. Then in 1809, Washington Irving presented a new St. Nick. This one was a stout, jolly man who wore a wide-brimmed hat and huge breeches. He also rode over treetops to bring presents to children, just like he does today. Yay! <laughs> now back to our anchors. Well, that's it for our Christmas show. Merry Christmas, everyone. Do you hear bells? 